we are at TNN TV in the gym, Peacocks, with uh, Ade Olayinka of Stamina for Self. So, Coach Ade, how yeah. are you? Good, man. Good. TNT back in the building, you know yes, what it is. Of course. Is. And yeah. uh, we look forward to now, December the 21st, the great <laughs> build with uh, your uh, Bilal, Mohammed Bilal Ali, yep. who's on the card. B1. B1, and uh, King this of is his fourth uh, professional fight. That's correct, yeah. So, it's been like a year, and it's already like from last December where he's made his debut, and That's now right. all of a sudden, here we are. Fourth pro fight, you know, just tell us about it. Well, what a journey. You know, uh, there's a lot, a lot of people don't know about. Uh, Stamina for Cell's journey, but uh, in particular, as we're talking about Bilal's journey, um, you know, he started back with us when he was about 18 years of age. Um, just kept, kept on coming, kept on coming, kept on jumping in the ring with Anthony, even when others wouldn't come back. He kept on coming, showed persistence, and then <clears throat> just over three years ago, about three years ago now, when Captain said, I want you and Addy to start working together. That's when it basically started, and um, it was basically three years of hard work, day in, day out, most times seven days a week, and before his first professional fight, which his actual first professional fight was supposed to be in February 2018, but, you know, um, that one didn't happen. Then it went to, I think it was going to be October, Again, that one didn't happen, and then uh, when we came back from LA <coughs> um, after the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury, like I said, told people on the way back, we got off the plane, got off at Heathrow Terminal 5, I think, and me and Cam was in a cab, and I was on the M25, and I see captain shoot past us looking at his phone so i message him i said what are you doing man you're doing like 60 miles an hour on your phone what are you doing he goes ad no one can stop me <laughs> 10 minutes later he messaged me saying balao's fighting on the 15th so we basically had like 12 days notice for balao's debut so yeah and it was very short notice very short yeah. notice and then he went out there down in uh Brentwood Centre. Yeah, Brentwood, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Put on nice. a fantastic performance, got the win, got the W. And then after that, it was March, April, down in Wembley Arena. Yeah. That must Again, have been a great experience. Fantastic, course. fantastic experience. Very, We were very excited, very happy with his performance, just showing more and more his skill level. Then it was uh, down in, what's that arena called? A Royal Albert Hall. Oh, this of course, and that's a historic yeah. venue as well. Exactly, something that for is, boxing uh, from the 80s or something like that. And he got the stoppage, and it just shows how his progression. And, and now he's another new arena, yeah, exactly. Copper Box as well. So. Exactly, Copper Box, another one. And, you know, we've been there before many times with Anthony, and now Bilal stepping in okay. there as well. So we're very excited. You know, there's lots of hard work to do, being done, and still to do. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're, we're just looking forward to it, you know. But it's sort of uh, progressed quite a lot, but just in that one year we can notice certain changes with Bilal when it comes to his yeah. physique. He's That's right. sort of filled out more, his legs look a lot sort of thicker, more solid, so yeah. it's almost like he's uh, sort of maturing as a young man. Exactly, you know, he's only 23 years of age, still very young, still a lot of development to do, and that will be done. But also what's happening is he's... Um, he's He's learning that he's becoming into an actual professional boxer. You know, you're not just it by name now, you're, you're it by trade. This right. is what you do, day in, day out, Monday to Sunday, Sunday back through to Saturday. So, you know, it's full time, it's every time, and it's always overtime. Overtime has to become normal time in this sport. You know, it's, it's, it's high level. If you want to get to the top, you have to so sacrifice. Like what you invest in is what you're going to get out. Exactly. You know, there's no free lunch, there's no free meal, there's no free fight. You know, and you have to be willing to sacrifice everything to be able to get to the top because everyone wants it but not everyone will get it. Wants it, wants it as bad as perhaps you know uh, below basically so you have to want it more than others right? Uh, yeah of course you have to do more than what the me next man's willing, to, willing do, to do you know and we see that more and more now with <coughs> with how boxing is going, you know, it's very easy to get knocked off the top spot or to be to be forgotten about. And you have to be willing to, to do everything to make sure you not only you get there, get there is one thing, but staying. But staying there, so yeah. staying and, uh, uh, and so show people just how good you are. And exactly. And where he has a, you know, a stable mate like Anthony, Doris is there as well, Alex the Kid as well, you know, everyone helps that's push That's like everyone. Alex Bishop, right? Uh, sorry? Uh, yes, Alex that's Bishop right. Is, of course, yeah. yeah. 
So he's a new one that's joined onto the team. But where uh, indicators, you know, they've seen that in four years, Anthony's gone from Wembley Arena to fighting in a world title fight against a registered world champion. Yeah, know? so sort of like a legendary world champion. Oh, even, of course, so yeah, yeah, yeah so definitely. You know, Kovalev, he had like 16 world titles. Definitely fights. a Hall of Famer, I'd say. So. Oh, you know, it, it, I would have... For uh, sure, you yeah. go straight to the top of the sport pretty much. Exactly, in a, you know. In a and whatever he does from now on, um, Sergei Kovalev, we wish him all the best. You know, he's, he's, he's been a, you know, a fantastic uh, sportsman in the actual boxing ring. So, you know, <clears throat> you know, we wish him all the best and it was a fantastic experience and we learned a lot from that. And we're only going to take that and push on with that because yes, I mean. it's not just Anthony who learns for that or Tunde learns for that. I learn from it, Bilal learns for it, Therese learns for it. And, uh, the, and whole Cameron, the whole team. Yeah, right. exactly. Killer Cam as well. So it's so, almost like when Bilal actually went to, to Russia, he benefited because he was able to live through that experience. Through 100%. That sort of experience what Anthony experienced. So hence that mentally prepares him for the future. When you, when you, you know, it's not just, sometimes it's not just in case of what you do in the ring and what you go home and do, but it's also study. They're studying great fighters. They're studying, you know, <clears throat> what other people do that are good. You know, you want to take the best bits of what everyone else does and try and, and see if you can, some way yeah, into exactly, your own into your, yes, exactly, into your own boxing game, into your own boxing repertoire, your own boxing skills. And with that, that can only make you a better fighter if it works for you, you know what I mean? And where he's with someone like Anthony, you can see that the kind of work that Anthony puts in every day. You know, he works like an absolute monster. And Bilal yeah, is taking on that. Yeah, to witness the Anthony's legendary work rate, that yeah, we get tired exactly. just watch, watching, watching him go. Exactly, you know, it's just, it's, no, it's relentless, it never stops. And Bilal, is now taking on that mantra to see what it takes to even get to that level, level and then right. push on to go on even further. Fantastic. So it, it is fantastic. We're very excited. You know, there's a hell of a lot to do. You know, we're not we're not under, overlooking anything and we're not underlooking anything. What we just need to do is keep doing what we're doing, keep focused, keep concentrated and consistent work. You know? So, so for the 21st of December, Stratford yeah. Copper Box Arena. So what, what do you sort of you know predict? You oh. know, uh, what, as the fans who want to turn out, you know, what can they sort of expect we know, to see on the night? You know, Bilal, he's very flashy, <laughs> young guy, King of Beckton, we call him. You know, and it's it, look. He's going to do what he's going to do out there. All I know is the W is coming, that's for sure. That's the for W sure. is 100% coming. And it's all about the, 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 yeah, the performance. The, when he decides to, to let the bombs go, go. They'll, they'll happen. But you know, at this stage, he's learning. He's learning and he's progressing. And I just, I, I'm looking forward to his future. I'm looking yeah. forward to 2021. Yeah, so it's um, like a three sorry, 2020, year, 2021. You know, what I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the, the further evolution of Bilal Ali. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, um, how he's going to develop his smarts, his ring IQ, his boxing ability, his power, um, his technique. Everything, his speed as well, um, and he's, he, you know his endurance, and not only that, just how he really establishes himself sure. as a name in boxing, and that's going to be one of the biggest things to look at. Yeah, and he also mentioned sort of that before previously, maybe he was sort of draining himself too much, and he was, you know, sort of possibly weight drained with only like 12 days notice etc but now he sort of feels like he's a lot more comfortable at the weight so. oh yeah i mean look i think obviously 12 days notice for anyone it's is, is very short. Know, yeah exactly you know normally you know you get kind of uh, at least well, a month right yeah i mean normally you get people get kind of 12 days notices you know you're kind of journeyman or something like that of course, so they have yeah. to be sort of willing yeah, to yeah, fight in the week's notice exactly. if they must right you know what i mean and so for him to do that on his debut was was yeah. something else but because he's got a strong mind being with a strong team as well he was able to do it yeah. and i think uh, you know Bilal's never going to have a, any problem with the weight never he's never going to have a problem with the weight he's big for his weight yes 100 percent but he's never going to have a problem with it because he's an athlete you know he, he can run for miles and miles he's in the gym every day he's doing his boxing yeah that's what can't be understated right? right that Bilal is a full-time athlete and oh, people yeah. realize that sometimes with boxers even professional boxers they sometimes have other jobs and careers they have to sort of balance etc yeah. but Bilal is fully 100% focused on exactly. his craft of boxing so yeah. hence surely that sort of you know gives him an edge I would, yeah, I would imagine yeah, right? definitely especially when in the case of um, you know when people obviously they've got other commitments and you, you can't blame them for that life is still life but you know if you're in a position where you can fully commit to something it gives you that that, uh, that creed to put everything into it absolutely everything um, and when I mean everything coming I from 
time you wake up in the morning to time you go to go to sleep. Everything you have has to be invested in yourself, in your career, in your future in boxing. And with that, uh, these guys, they, they're learning, you know, they've seen Anthony do it. They know that they've seen their stable mate do it and it's there for them to do as well. So with that, it's just a case of once their mind's right and they've made that full commitment, good days and bad days, whether you're happy or you're sad, there's no feelings or emotion. You've got to come in and put the work in. Uh, and with that, it, you understand that you are a real professional. We look know. forward to uh, seeing yourself and Bilal on yeah. the 21st at yeah. the, uh, the Copper Box Arena in Stratford. And hopefully, you know, victory number four. And then we, you know, very Definitely much look forward to the 2020 and what that the new year shall sort of bring for uh, your team and Bilal as well. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Coach Ade, Ole and Kurt from yeah. Stamina for Sale. Thanks Lions a lot. In the camp. You know what it is. Cheers.